Hola mi gente, welcome to my channel. So I'm going to show you how I make my delicioso, juicy, and so easy oven roasted chicken. So make sure you stay until the end of the video and let's get started. Alright mi gente, so aquí tengo mi pollo and she is about five and a half to six pounds. So the way that I'm going to cook my chicken, we're going to spash cook. So la manera que vamos a cocinar el pollo is you're going to remove the backbone. Le vas a remover ese hueso de atrás and the way you do this, you're going to grab some tijeras. Or you can also use a knife and then you're just going to remove the backbone. Y a mí me encanta cocinar el pollo de esta manera because your chicken is going to cook easy. Even it's gonna lay nice and flat, so that means that it's gonna cook, it's gonna give you crispy skin, and it's also gonna cook faster. Este pollo de esta manera se te va a cocinar más rápido, y ese cuerito, mija, crujiente te va a salir. So just be very careful, very patient, and just remove that backbone, and that is it. So you can use this to make chicken stock, bone stock, or you can just throw it out. <laughs> And next, you're going to flip the chicken back to the front. Y tu ves el hueso in between the breast, that bone in between the breast, you want to crack because that's what's going to make your chicken like nice and flat. So just put some pressure there and then you're going to hear it crack. And at this point, your chicken should lay nice and flat just like that. So cuando tu haga eso, you're going to watch your chicken. Make sure you put some vinegar and lime and lots of water on your chicken. Please wash your chicken. <laughs> and then after you give her a nice wash, you're going to pat her dry. Ya que lavaste tu pollo, la vas a secar very nice on the front and the back. Aquí tenemos los seasonings that we're going to use for my chicken. I have all of my spices here and you want to go ahead and just sprinkle all the spices everywhere. So a mí me olvidó, I forgot to put oil guys. I forgot to add some oil at the beginning. So just add a little bit of oil and then just start seasoning your bird. Mi gente, a mí se me olvidó ponerle el aceite al, al principio. So, un poquito de aceite y comienza a sazonar. You want to get underneath the skin. Also, make sure you don't break the skin, though. Don't be so aggressive. Don't break the skin because you still want that nice, crispy skin. So, lo vas a sazonar en toda la parte. And you're going to flip her over. And you're going to season the back of it very generously. Cuando tú la voltees, esa son que tú le vas a poner atrás, mi gente, ponle mucho. Be very generous cuando tú sazones the back of it. Because, you know, we're just building flavors. In, y, y lo que va a pasar que ese sazón, that flavor we put on the back, is just going to go all the way up into the breast. Oof. Just wait until you see how good this chicken is going to look. And then when you flip her over, make sure you detach some of the skin from the tight part and put some of that seasoning right in there. I'm telling you, you want to make sure you season every part of your chicken. Y ya que mi pollo is nice and seasoning, we're going to make that delicious herb butter. So I have here thyme and rosemary that I'm going to chop very nicely. Just want to make sure you chop this nice and finely because you don't want no big chunks of herbs in your butter. Okay, mi gente, so now that our herbs are nice and chopped, tú se la vas a poner a la mantequilla. And then we're going to season our butter. I added some roasted garlic in our seasoning, pero tú le puedes poner the same seasonings we used to season our chicken. Or you can just straight up just grate some garlic cloves in there. Le puedes poner los mismos sazones que usamos para el pollo, o le puedes poner eh, ajo molido. And then you see how soft my butter is, guys. You want to make sure your butter is nice and soft para que tú lo puedas mezclar bien. So I'm adding also a little bit of oil so it can be nice and spreadable for my chicken pero esto es como se ve mi mantequilla my compound butter so now back to our chicken lo que vas a hacer that you're gonna put this this butter right underneath the skin on the breast mi gente y eso is gonna give you juicy breast so you're just gonna also spread that all over your chicken and this is what my chicken looks like very nice and beautiful that butter is everywhere
So, lo que vas a hacer now, you're going to preheat your oven at 350 degrees. Y vamos a cocinar el pollo in a batter of peppers. You can add some onions there too. So, like I said at the beginning, el pollo que yo tengo is about five and a half to six pounds. So, lo vas a cocinar a 350, 350 degrees for an hour and 10 minutes. After eso, mi gente, after una hora y diez minutos, este pollo quedó delicioso. I know you see how beautiful and just juicy this chicken looks, guys. The skin is nice and crispy. I wish you could have heard it. Este pollo quedó delicioso, amazing, flavorful, and she looks so good. So she's going to look so good on your table, guys. And it's so, in that amount of time that we put, an hour and 10 minutes was perfect. Let me show you this combo, this Thai and drumstick combo, girl. I'm telling you, my mouth is watering just by looking at this. And the leftovers are amazing. I just want to show you how juicy this chicken breast is, mi gente. You had to make this as the pollo. Me quedo tan bueno. And the leftovers are going to be even better. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Y buen provecho.